Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing and as you can see what we are still doing here is clearing out the old town. That's what I said a couple of episodes of course ago that is going to take a little bit of time. I'm sorry for that but it, you know I always do that when I'm playing these kind of games and the good part with this game of course is that you with that you do not have to clear them out once you revisit them like in you know games like Diablo 3 with the random maps I call it like that you had to revisit that all the time so there we have Rooms um, let's talk to him Get lost, Hunter. This is our territory. No throat dripping, no foaming? How polite. I'm not here to hunt you down. I want to destroy Formigati, just like you. We could be allies. <sighs> I heard that you spared the Vrykorak leader in the mountains. <sighs> you look like a tough warrior. We could be allies. Yes. But we only defend our territory. Okay, I now thought that they were going to go against us and I want to say what kind of logic is that? But anyhow, that's really cool. Let's kill this little veteran and then we will of course help out the werewolves. They will lead us already down. Okay, that was quick. Mm, I probably should have um, stayed with them and not go after the judge in the back, but sometimes, you know, that just happens, some misjudgment there. And that is always fights against veterans in this game, they just drag on like forever, like you can see here. I mean, at the end you get them down, but it takes some time. Good that these guys are no veterans. Do they even have veterans? I don't know. That would be quite insane, I think, because their damage output is nuts. That's all I can. S absolutely a nuts damage output, but that's just my five cents to that. So let us actually. Okay, that I. I thought we would have triggered the pumping up, sh the dum dum shot, but I misclicked there. My mistake. So that was quick. I would have loved to actually help out the werewolves, but I was a tiny little bit too late there. And there, as you can see, there when I faced him the first time, there was my mistake that I was actually focusing on the front. If I would have read correctly, the front there is, of course, if you take a look at him, it is absolutely clear. But the front is most armored. So if you face these guys for the first time, then focus on the back. What I didn't um, realize until I actually um, read out what they are or how or where they are armored the most. Um, before there, I didn't even try to go behind them. But once you go behind them, you see they can turn but they do not turn really quick so always go to the back we can't go through here i don't know whether that is a barrier which is at some point of the game going to go away or whether it stays that i am um, not certain about to be completely honest but anyhow we will find that out i i think that's a barrier and we can't go through there but that is a other point so, can you actually you No, you can't use these. Oh, crap. They are quite... They are quite powerful. That I really did not expect. I was on one hand wondering whether we can use them. That would, of course, be in this game absolutely amazing if you could use 
if you could actually use guns or not guns you can use guns of course you are using them all the time if you actually could use vehicles as we know in crystal tomato there's going to be some vehicles and there are at least one okay there are you know there are mobs um, Lemon Rusters and Sentinels so vehicles, but you are going to be able in the full version of the game to use a knight. You can really, you know, go around with the Splendor's Knight and shoot things. So now I am looking forward to it. That would be nice if that would be included in this game, which is, I think, it is, of course, not. Um, but there again, you can see when the developer is growing in stuff they are actually including in the game, as I think absolutely amazing. Taking him down, so that is good, some new loot, although I have to say, in this game there's always, um, you know, m many many um, mobs drop loot, and um, sometimes even good loot, but I always have the feeling that more bad loot is dropped than good loot. But coming to think about what I'm saying here, I guess that you can say for every RPG game out there. If I remember how much bad loot was dropped in Diablo 3 when I was preparing for Inferno Mode. Back in the day when Inferno Mode was still a challenge. I think I've already talked about that before where um, I remember, you know, I played Diablo 3 from the release and I still remember, for example, the time when you, for the first time, when Diablo invaded um, the heaven and you got the first time there, I was absolutely, of course, amazed by the graphics and um, the tiles and how everything um, looked like, but the point what I actually wanted to say is, you know, once if you do not know um, Diablo 3, which I doubt, but I tell it anyhow, um, there you add different difficulty levels and um, with every difficulty level you technically play the game through one time. I think it was normal Nightmare Hell and then Inferno mode and when you have completed the game um, and you could go in into Inferno mode the first time, it was insta-death. Technically, yeah, you you really died instantly at, at the champions at least, and you needed to go for a rerun, rerun, rerun until you could enter the next act and actually, you know, have gear where you can withstand the damage you receive. So I remember still the first time we completed Act One, and I was absolutely pumped. I was so happy. We were really, really glad. And then we entered Act Two, and it was instant death again. So we needed to farm again Act One. So that was a little bit um, annoying, but in the end, still a good gaming experience. I don't know why. That's just what I thought back in the day. So these automated guns are um, not easy to, not hard to kill, that's what I wanted to say, but they do, when all of them are actually firing at you, they do a ton load of damage. That is what I did not expect there. So, come on guys, you shall fall here. So these are again veterans, so a little bit heavier targets. Oh, there we nearly died, that would have been not really nice to say the least, or to be absolutely honest here. So anyhow, I didn't even know what I wanted to tell there. So I think I'm gonna face the werewolf at first some shots and one you know as you can see one enemy there is not too too hard to kill but once there are many it gets even harder okay the sentinel measurement the veterans here are insane I can only say that the only good th um, thing is that their firing angle is actually not too too big and they need a ton load of time 
to turn around. Alright, got some loot. That is nice. Through the loot I'm going to get through in the off. That is the usual thing. Because I don't know, um, if you want to see the loot we receive and going through the loot, then you should leave me a comment and tell me. For now I just skip that for the off. Alright, um, best thing here is taking the enemy. Oh crap, I tapped out. That was bad. The recording is still running nice. There I had a little mistake in... Whoa, holy moly crap. In... I tipped again. I need to... Um, damn it. Come on, let me get out of here. Um, there I had a little mistake in Battletech. I actually tapped out as well. And somehow I... Um, you know, I got a triple monitor set up. And on the right screen always my um, recording software OBS is... Um, in full screen and I somehow stopped the recording you know I got into the next episode and so I am missing some video footage they're really really bad if you then take a look to the right and see yeah I stopped the recording nice oh there I nearly made a mistake again so technically you can just go behind them so that is of course very nice to know them enemies down I I you know sometimes I what I don't understand you know I should actually talk about more about Inc um, Inquisitor but about Van Helsing here but I was just um, answering to a comment the other day to be precise yesterday evening and there I was we were talking about um, upcoming or you know some little part of the comment was upcoming Warhammer 40k games and there I realized I you know last year I was really glad about Dawn of War 3 which I still think was no disappointment to me I had my fun with it I actually wanted to go more on the multiplayer but that just didn't work out anyhow that's not the point right now um, I was actually glad with the games released the last year you know we had of course I had Inquisitor Mato running which I am nearly playing now one and a half years absolutely insane um, we had Sanctus Reach absolutely amazed by the game still <laughs> if it has its more annoying parts and you know then Dawn of War 3 and this year I, um, you know, again thought, yeah, well, there are going to be not too, too many games. And then there's another Sanctus Reach um, DLC coming out, the Titanicus game, the Adeptus Mechanicus game. Then there's going to be, oh, I already forgot the name, another RTS, um, RTS 40k game coming out. Um, so much stuff, so much game releases. Um, you know, no, these releases particularly not need to be good games because, you know, Games Workshop um, always gets them out without um, looking whether, you know, whether they are going to come out good games or bad games. They just take the cash, which is particularly, which is of course not bad, but quality wise, not the best thing. What I wanted to say in the end, three minutes later, there are luckily this year coming many 40 games 40k games out which is really really cool and a nice warm feeling for me at least i'm having in my heart ah i'm always thinking no i actually do not that was just the point warm 40k games i am pumped so back to increase to an helsing um we will go in the next episode guys um, such a waypoint always is a nice point to stop the episode and clear the inventory, sell some stuff and um, be happy for a while and then go on with the mission. So we will then still kill the Igor. Still have to say a weird name, Igor, <laughs> but anyhow. Of course, nothing against guys who are called Igor in real, in the real world. I just wanted to say for a unit name, I think it's a weird name. That is, that is, that is just my weird little mind. Tip.
telling me. All right, guys, that then brings us to the end of this episode. And as usual, I really thank you for watching. If you have anything to say, um, leave me a comment. Give me feedback. This is always much appreciated and very important to me. And if you like this episode, then give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And I hopefully will see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.